then we have um um uh this reticle here and i i don't even um you what what is what is, what is this reticle supposed to be because this is uh this to me is a little uh that is definitely the origin shield right there there is the origin shield in this <laughs> this might be one of the worst blueprints i've ever seen that's a cat that is a straight cat. Are you freaking kidding me? I didn't know this was in here. That It's got a mouse, it's got a cow head, and then it goes down to a cat tail. All right, and welcome back, guys. In this video, we're gonna be going over the entire season six battle pass for Black Ops Cold War and Warzone. And this is probably our last battle pass for Cold War Zombies. So it's a little bit sad, and hopefully it's pretty decent. Season five was pretty good. Season four was probably the best we've seen so far. So we're gonna go over all that, all the ultra stuff you get as well towards the end. And we're gonna try to do it pretty quick. We're not gonna waste a lot of time here. Obviously, when you first buy the battle pass you're gonna get the mason skin pretty basic though i don't really care too much for the skin same thing with for this adler skin and uh yeah we get more watches which is cool a uh, sticker which actually kind of cool it's a megaton right there and it's kind of splitting as well pretty cool sticker but i don't find myself using stickers this is also free by the way then we get a calling card we're gonna skip over the double xp tokens because who cares uh we get a tinfoil hat charm i actually kind of like this this is kind of cool a pretty basic milo variant here we get some cod points uh then we get this zebra like boat skin which is pretty sick uh an emblem another basic skin uh, another basic sticker cod points yay another reticle that i will totally use obviously we get the iron hide but that's free Ooh, what is this i haven't seen this yet a coin flip is it different each is this an actual coin flip oh no okay that'd be that'd be pretty sick if there was an actual coin flip gesture that could land both heads and tails for making decisions that would make a pretty interesting zombie video if we had like an actual coin flipping game and it could make decisions for us but this is just a normal chip and i to be honest not going to use that then we get the boomstick which we have enough power blueprints at this point i mean it looks cool and it might look good with mastery camos but uh yeah then we got the axe murder Yep, that, that is uh, that is definitely some axe murder there. The Admiral skin, which is all right. Ooh, a Damati skin. Actually, I kind of like that green effect up there. That's kind of sick. It's almost like a Damascus green. But then again, there's a lot of already cool Damati skins in the game. Uh, then we get the... Ooh, that's, that's pretty clean. I like the white in the front and the solid black. That's a pretty clean looking skin there. Uh, and then this kind of matches the thing we saw earlier. I think this is some sort of war paint. I saw this at some point. I think it's meant to like hide the distance of how far it is away like an actual war or something like that i mean it looks cool but uh we've definitely got better looking ones than that pellington right here actually no Ooh, i kind of like the airy vibe of that that's not bad at all you got like an uh, angel statue there or grave that's uh, the cemetery thorn that's pretty sick actually another reticle that's never going to get used another um you know operator skin that's never going to get used the galil which is going to be fun we still haven't done our dark a31 game for that We've got the unstable ground calling card, which I mean, it looks cool, but I'm never gonna use it. Say, so, ooh, there's a carnival watch. I don't know. One of the main themes for this battle pass is a carnival theme, which kind of came out of nowhere. What about anything in this season is carnival themed? Honestly, they should have gone more with the Halloween theme since, you know, it is October. That would have made more sense to me, but uh, they decided to go with the carnival theme is the main theme of this, uh, this battle pass, which is an interesting theme nonetheless. Uh, that's pretty shiny okay okay that's a little halloween theme there once again probably not going to use it dmr is not that great in zombies uh we got the jack lantern okay there there's some al <laughs> you have some candy okay that that's a kind of cool gesture i'll have to check that out again that's also free by the way too you don't have to pay for the battle pass to get that so there is a little bit of halloween stuff in here uh the tactical meow that's a cat that is a straight cat are you freaking kidding me i didn't know this was in here that it's got a mouse okay okay the suppressor's got a mouse on it it's got a cow head and then it goes down to a cat tail that is the coolest stock in the entire game for the ak that is okay i'll give it to him that one i really the tactical meow all righty then then we've got another matching skin for the other uh bikes and stuff we got a field day I'm not gonna use that uh our first carnival variant here this one being for the stoner and it's kind of dull. Maybe if it was a little bit brighter, it would look nice. But not only is it the carnival theme, it's kind of dull on top of that. Uh, then we get the electrons emblem. Not going to use that. What is, is this even? This is like a KSP that's a little. Yeah, you. <laughs> this might be one of the worst blueprints I've ever seen. It's a KSP, except some of the parts that are normally black are a little bit more lighter. So uh, that's a thing if you want the fabricator another ooh, ooh yeah no thank you 
Uh, another um, calling card here. The garrison, yep. This, I think, is pretty cool. I love this blueprint. I actually want to check this out in game. This is straight up, you know, a magnum, but it's like almost like an evidence locker one. It's got like, you know, it looks like it's been rusted, thrown in an ocean, got some tape on it. And it's actually got like an ID tag here on the bottom. That's kind of fun. And I'm probably going to use that. I want to see how it looks like with Master Camos. But uh, the missing link, that's pretty sick. Uh, another emblem that I'm not going to use. Another cat charm. That's kind of cool uh, with a little tie on. Uh, another carnival variant, but see, I don't, I don't really care for these variants. This to me is pretty basic. That's the main theme for a lot of the blueprints. It's just too dull to really make much of a difference here. Then we've got the bad luck sticker. Actually, that looks kind of clean. Ooh, got a little golden uh, seahorse at the bottom, little fin at the top. All right. Not going to lie. I like that quite a bit. And then, ooh, it's got like the little indigens in there. That might look good with mastery camos. We've got the checker skin, which actually I like this. I like this operator skin. At least it's unique. It is different than the other ones. Then we have um, um, uh, this reticle here, and I I don't even um, yeah, Treyarch, what what is what is, what is this reticle supposed to be? Because this is uh, this to me is a little um, a little inappropriate for a reticle. But uh, yeah, there, that's a whole new meaning to teabagging there. Uh, then we get another silver diver watch, which is you know cool. An emblem, I kind. of okay it moves that's kind of cool i guess oh is that a zombie shield actually okay that's kind of sick that is definitely the origin shield right there there is the origin shield in this uh that that's kind of sick then we got the creepy crawler which is kind of cool for a blueprint here it's got you know a caterpillar type uh magazine with feet on it so that's a thing uh, some more stickers which don't really care we've got the class ring if you want a class ring charms a thing we've got the extraction skin this m1911 the presidential one actually kind of sleek kind of like how this looks this is a pretty sick m1911 we get the mixtape which i'm not going to play that we've then got the shell shock sticker uh ooh, is this for the groza oh yeah kind of ugly though at least at least we got a groza skin uh not something that i'm personally going to be using myself We've got the Tomahawk calling card. Uh, we've got the uh, rust or the rucksack. Yeah, that's a thing. Another operator skin that's not going to get used. Here's the M16. Kind of, ooh, actually, I like that wave effect on the end. Is that actually 3D or is that like a paint? Kind of looks 3D. That's kind of cool. That That's pretty nice. But then again, we've got a million M16 blueprints. So at that point, you know, it doesn't matter. We've got the skate deck. If you know you like skateboards and stuff like that. We got an AK-74U Panda Bite. Ooh, that look at that red bloody barrel okay that's kind of cool uh we've got the creepy thought sticker which actually simple stickers like this actually look pretty good on weapons just very simplistic not a whole lot going on so that might look good especially if you've got you know like a dark black camel on the weapon uh another reticle that will never get used another street sweeper variant last battle pass we also got a street sweeper variant so i'm happy for that but uh, I'm not going to use this. I'm not going to lie. Don't like the carnival theme. Like this to me, I, I kind of cool got the duckies on the barrel here and the clown on the handle. But it's just kind of dull in my opinion. I'm not going to use that blueprint. The guardian skin, which not going to use it. The shooting gallery, kind of cool there. Uh, another step counter watch. Pretty basic. Um, another emblem there. Then here we go. This is the first ultra item in the battle pass. And it's for the brand new shotgun and unfortunately it's the carnival theme again but it lights up okay that see this is what the carnival weapons need to make them actually stand out a little more it lights up but even given where this lights up this is probably still gonna be a very basic like it just it is it's what, what moves in the battle oh, it's just i mean as it goes for reactive skins it's pretty basic i'm not gonna lie a little bit of lights here and there i mean it's better than the base version i'll give it that but um nowhere near as good as the emc or the em2 that we got last season that was the tron em2 that thing was fantastic and this isn't bad it's just yeah then we get a uh, a van which you know there's that um a magic lantern calling card but this right here in my opinion is the only thing in the battle pass that's like super worth it this is the only reason i would buy the battle pass everything else there's a lot of cool stuff in here as we've gone through some stuff that's kind of funny some stuff that's like you know there's that but this right here is the main attraction and it is for the mason skin this is the ultra mason skin with the dark like ether kind of elements on it that move around and i can't wait till we unlock this because that's going to be pretty fun 
Look at his hat, like with little fuzz on. Ooh, look at the backpack on the back there. If it, if it'll. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that backpack. That's pretty good coverage. So that's kind of the main thing you get in the battle pass. Then you get um an art. Ooh, okay. For the Galil, that's pretty sick. It's probably not gonna look good with mastery camos. Then you get a harsh angle. So another harsh angle thing to finish it off. And that is the entire season six battle pass. So as you saw here, honestly, this really isn't anywhere near as good as the last two battle passes. There was a lot of extremely good stuff we got in the last two battle passes. And I, like I said, I was happy with the season four battle pass. That was the first battle pass in my opinion that was truly kind of worth what you're paying for. Obviously, I know you get your COD points back. If you buy one battle pass and you complete it, you essentially get all the others for free. But I'm talking about if you don't have any COD points and you're just like, all right, let me go ahead and get this. Like, there's not much of anything I'm going to use in here. The only thing that really stood out to me was the catnip AK with, you know, that's a straight up cat that says tactical meow. That uh, weapons locker uh, magnum kind of stood out to me as well. But other than that, okay, I'm going to use this reticle. I'm not going to lie, but you get that for free. Other than that, I'm probably not going to use anything except for um, this reactive. The only reason I'm going to use this because it's the only blueprint for the shotgun. It's the only one. So that's, I mean, if I'm going to use a blueprint, I'm going to use that. And then obviously we're going to use the Mason skin. But yeah, that is it. And I guess I'll leave it here with your opinion, guys. How do you feel about this battle pass? Do you think this one is worth it? Or do you think this one's kind of a decline? I think that season four was the kind of peak and then five was a little bit worse. And I think this is a lot worse than the last two. This one, I'm not really excited about much of anything in this battle pass, except for the few things we've mentioned. So yeah, I'm going to leave it here, guys. Hopefully they start off Vanguard pretty strong with the battle pass. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.